signing in and today this is how to style no no it's not this is how to find your style yeah this is how to find your style um yeah I mean it's five easy steps real easy it just takes a little bit of time uh, just, just just you know just listen to what I'm saying and you'll find your style real easy all right for our first step is what do you like do you like y2k do you like tech wear do you like business casual do you like vintage streetwear or do you just like streetwear it, it's like a whole lot of genres of fashion or niches is you just gotta figure out what do you like and the easy way to figure out what you like is just going on Pinterest. I like Pinterest because it's just going to keep showing you more stuff of what you already have and what you like. Also, what you need to do is find inspiration. And you can find inspiration in anything from like, you can find inspiration in like movies, TV shows, like if you like the way a certain character dresses you could take something away from that you can always take a piece away from like a TV show or movie or maybe a music video one of your favorite rappers wears something I know some rappers do have stylists some of them don't you know but like some some rappers be putting it on uh, another pl yeah there's just plenty of places where you could get inspiration from youtubers instagram pinterest you, yeah you just gotta find out what do you like you just gotta find out me personally i take inspiration from you know like playbook cardi and opium you know, lil yachty asap rocky tyler creator lil uzi i like midwest the way he puts it like he do it to i like dc the dawn's fits uh there's a couple of tiktokers and like instagram people that i like i'll probably like put their at somewhere because they're cool you know i like their stuff too but you know burberry airy he's also opium but like yeah so there's a lot of cool people you can get inspiration from step two step two is no what do you really like now this is more like um just getting into the details do you like this? Why do you like this fit is really what you should be asking yourself. Why do you like this fit in particular? I'm gonna just pull something up real quick. Just just random stuff. Okay, so let's say I go into my fire fits. I meet this pretty recently actually. But, you know. Okay. Let me just find something that I like. Uh, Alright. I like this fit. Okay, so damn, cannot view the image. Okay, so like maybe you like this fit, but can you tell me why? Maybe it's the shoes that he's wearing. Maybe you want some, you know, clean sneakers. Maybe it's the jeans, the way that like they kind of have a cargo and the distressing and the discoloration. Maybe that's what you like about it. Maybe you like the fact that he's wearing two belts, cause that's cool. I mean, like. I personally don't be wearing two belts, but I, I would try that. Or, you know, the cut of the sweater and how long it is on his body. And how it just, you know. It's a whole lot of stuff that goes into it. But you just got to think about why you like stuff. Even with a fit like this, like, the way these pants are, like have different colors on them and these different pockets, like, it's stuff like that. How long the shirt is and how it fits how the jacket is cropped if it's cropped a little bit higher so that the shirt shows at the bottom it's all about what you really enjoy about what really makes the fit work sometimes it can be accessories this i like this fit you know colors and all that and the jacket i just like racing jackets personally and i know i like racing jackets so i'm gonna go want to go buy a racing jacket but they're expensive as hell. I will say that. Very expensive. But in their hair again, even with this, 
How do you want your sh your pants to fall into your shoes? How do you want your jacket to meet your pants? Things like that that you just you just a little bit. What things do you notice that you like about your fit? And then you know, obviously it'll all come together with step three. Okay, for step three, it's what's in your wardrobe. Obviously, you can have different types of shirts, but it's like, what type of shirt do you really like? Do you like shirts with a collar or with a turtleneck, or do you like these type of regular t-shirt? Or it could be the way your jeans are dyed or cut. You could have a flared jean, you could have a stacked jean, you could have a boot cut jean. And there's so many different variations. You could have cargo pockets on those jeans, or you could have cargo pants. It's really what style of different things that you like. Maybe you just like trousers, and you go for that more business look, you know? Mm, another thing, like shoes. Maybe you like chunky dad shoes, like the New Balances, or the Nike Monarchs, if <laughs> that's really what you like. Um... I don't know anybody who really likes Nike Monarchs. Those Prada loafers. I like those Prada loafers. I would wear them. Or maybe you like combat boots. Or you just like regular sneakers and Jordans and whatnot. Or, or, or Vans. Vans. Yeah. I like Vans. That's another thing. Um, accessories. Like this, this chain right here. I wear this every day along with these two Cubans right here one's like shorter and the other one's longer but I wear the, these Cubans with this chain I'm wearing right now every day to school pretty much and I want to get some bracelets I don't know what type of bracelets I want though whatever falls into my style is really what I'll be looking for but you want a variety of things so that you can try a new style out and find out what you like, you know? That's why you have to go to Pinterest and find what you like first. If you have clothes that just don't go with the style you want to achieve, you might want to just get rid of them, throw them to the thrift store, give them to a cousin of some sort, do something with them, or you could keep them. It's, it's not really my decision, but if it's not helping you with your style, it's just adding to your closet, you should probably get rid of it. Yeah, pretty much. If it doesn't add to your style, just burn it. Step number four. Um, I titled this one in my notes. Try some new, new, slash break rule. Uh, okay. Glad I wrote some other stuff underneath. Uh, so when I mean by try some new, new, Try some new new, like go to stores you've never been in and try on clothes. I know trying on clothes can be like really just tedious. Going into a store just to try on clothes and not buy anything is weird, almost taboo. But like you gotta do that to find out what type of fits you like. What type of, like when I say fits you like, like the way the clothes fit you. How, yeah, the proportions. If you like the baggier pants, gotta find out how baggy is too baggy and how not baggy is not baggy enough, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. You just gotta figure out how you want the clothes to fit your body. And, you know, practice is gonna make perfect. You gotta try the new clothes. You gotta, you gotta take pictures. You gotta take pictures in a dressing room because it helps you like remember how you want to style something because I don't like go into a dressing room and put together a fit in a store and have a picture of it and like oh I have these pieces now let me put this fit together and you also want to try putting pieces that you wouldn't think work together well that you think would work together but you've never seen if you've never seen it before maybe you're actually doing something that's never done before maybe you're making some brand new steps into the fashion world and you, you created something amazing it could be cool 
um, this is mostly why I say stay away from trends because trends are like crutches for your style. Cause one, but once the trend goes away, it's like, oh, that's lame. There's nobody wears that anymore. Um, yeah, so break the rules of, you know, don't try something that's never been done. Try new stuff. Try new clothes is what I mean by stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Step five, get better, get better, you gotta get better, um, how to get better, is, if that's your question, is how to get better, you gotta like, you know, you know, those pictures you took in the dressing room, well now you gotta take pictures of your fits, and keep them, or you could post them, posting them does help when you post your fits people will you know give an opinion and tell you how they really feel some people be playing hater uh, I know that for a fact people will definitely be playing hater but you gotta take that chance and cause then you'll find people who have a similar style to you and they'll give you tips and be able to help you cause I have friends who do give me tips every now and then when you know they feel like something's just could be a little bit better could be tweaked just a little bit better um yeah so look for that constructive criticism let and not just the criticism because that negativity is not needed because you also have to feel confident because if you're not confident you're not gonna want to pull off that fit i felt like that before there's been times where i was like not too confident that i could pull it off but I know I can pull it off because I'm literally wearing the clothes. You know, you wear the clothes, don't let the clothes wear you. And that's a that's a good saying. Um, yeah, you just gotta feel confident and just mature in your style. Let like time go by and you learn new, 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 new stuff and, and what you like more and, and this and that. And that's pretty much the video, how to find your style get Pinterest, find out what you like, figure out your wardrobe, and get the stuff that you like, you gotta try the new clothes, do that, you know, and get better. Hopefully, you find your new style, and uh, you should like the video, because you probably will if you use my steps, and if you really want to see my content, I, I, I think you're gonna want to see my content if you like this video you at least enjoyed watching it if you're not gonna do any of these stuff I still think you should subscribe to me I'm just saying you're still here and anyways I'm signing out